Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in once again and you might be able to hear that I am using some new music. I was recommended a music mod that is apparently recommended by the Fiend Folio developers. So I thought, why the hell not give it a go and see what we think. Uh, but this time we are going to be jumping in as someone did ask for them. Where are they? I've lost them completely. I apologize. Uh, Tainted Keeper. We're going to jump in as Tainted Keeper and see what we can do. Have a good old time. I have a feeling this is going to be a fairly difficult character in Fiend Folio, but at the same time, I've got high hopes for it being a lot of fun. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes first. Let's, uh, let's sort of just see what ends up being the case. Okay, so we do have a new version of Gluttony here who is... Uh, Got some attacks that we don't recognize, so let's uh, get out of the way. But then again, I'm actually happier with this attack than I am with Brimstone. Although he is doing some explosives as well. It seems to have a bit of an angled aspect to it too. And he gives it the Infestation 2 item, which is not amazing, but it's not terrible. Um, I suppose it's better than getting a heart up that would do nothing. Ooh, Flame Spiders, hello. Now, unfortunately, this is a room in which we uh, will achieve nothing in terms of monetary value. Ooh, God, them there. Uh, then flames can reach a bit further than I thought they might be able to. But as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day, oh my god. Okay. Infestation 2 actually helped me a ton there. Oh my god. Let's just try and get as many pennies as we can here. You've, you've been charmed. That did not stop you from um, smacking me, unfortunately. Um. Oh god. I forgot that those guys did that. No, I'm going to die so fast here. Okay, I, I'm trying to think of- oh god damn, I'm, wa I'm walking into everything right now. Let's just- let's just try and focus up and not die. And we'll, uh, we'll play from there. I got the nickel. Huzzah! Right, let's go for our shop. Um, yeah, that's- that's a good one. We'll talk about shops. What's something you've bought recently for yourself? Um, the wafer doesn't do anything for us, does it? We got the frog puppet here. If you're about to take fatal damage, turn into slippy- Add a golden frog head to the pocket active slot. Health bar is converted into three filled heart containers. What the heck? Uh, we've also got bacon grease here. Um, and then we've got the soul cleaver. Splits collectibles into wisps. I don't think that's very useful. Because I think it only works on items that are like sat there. So let's take this and find out what it does it was a trinket so it didn't cost full cost um i don't know if i want anything there let me go and check what my item rooms got for sale but yeah what's something that you bought recently that you've uh, been enjoying something that, you, that that's brought you joy um oh we have the laddest of lads our boy i would like to grab him i would like fruity plum in my back pocket keeping me company yeah, um, didn't realize this was a trinket, so Slippy is apparently one of the challenge characters. We've got Slippy and another one called China that are modded characters that I am uh, going to be playing at some point. I don't know when. Uh, China's probably going to be the next one up. In fact, I I might play China in the next run because I've heard that um, that challenge is very difficult and quite interesting. Um, Steven's got some changes here, as we can see. And I'm, yeah, I'm ready for it. And I actually have a thumbnail prepared for it as well. Dude... New Steven's got some moves, my dude. He's got some moves. He does some teleporting about, which is good, because the, the other one didn't, and it was kind of weird. We got Steven. I'm just going to take Steven. Steven's a damage up. I like damage. That's a very hefty damage up, and we're just going to head to the next floor. Let's go downpour first, though. Why not? And head on our way on this fiend foliest of days. Check this out. Seraphim's pretty good here. We got whatever these are. Oh, these are the uh, the wisp ones, aren't they? I forgot about these. They do actually act as pennies as well, which is nice. So we'll come back and get Seraphim. I think Seraphim's actually really, really good early game, so I want to take it. Um, Okay, these things don't seem to do anything right now apart from look at us. I'm guessing... Uh, I was thinking maybe if we stand in their radius, they'll do something, but maybe if there's an enemies in their radius, they do something. Ooh, we got a cursed penny there. I kind of forgot that those could be replaced. We might get these virtue little wisp pennies, but also get these uh, evil pennies as well. Oh, I would have loved Parasite. I'm so glad I... Uh, so sad that I missed out on that. But 
as I said, I'm actually really happy with Seraphim, so I'm not going to dwell. Cool, enemies here. Let's check. Dude, no, I'm going to say, I say let's check out the shop, but there's no point checking out the shop until you've got the money to purchase something. Good. But yeah, th this is definitely a character I can see us dying as pretty swift, pretty swiftly. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know how to dodge this. I don't know how to dodge this. Wait, have all the enemies respawned again? I'm really com. Can this hurt me? Seemingly not. Maybe it's just like a, as a distraction cover. Interesting. Got some conjoint fellas here that are all tied up. Kind of like a little ghosty boy. We got uh, something else here. What's this? Pocket dice. Drops two random glass dice and a penny at the start of each floor. Ooh. That that does that does speak to me a little more than the frog puppet one. Frog puppet one's good as a backup, but this this could be really good. Let's quickly check our secret room here. But yeah, I like the new music. We got a puzzle piece. Your favorite food is Malang. We need to find the other two puzzle pieces now. Right, let's try and get some money in this room. Seraphim doing a good job. Unfortunately, these guys leaving creep means it's a little harder to get their money. And then we hope that the boss drops enough. Which, sometimes the boss drops quite a lot. Other times they don't drop too much. So, we'll see how this ends up working out for us. So far, though, a very, very quick kill. Sadly, we did get enough, but it drops a nickel. So, didn't get anything. So, unfortunately here... I think going into the Devil Deal is a bad idea. Uh, I'm going to see if there's any way for us to get a single penny here. Um, it's not super likely, I'll be honest. Because we've got two pennies in here, but they're both barred behind the ability to need a bomb. There's nothing we can do in here. Well, that's a real shame, that. We're one penny off. And I don't want to visit the shop unless I have to, really. Okay, this could give us a penny. Or it could give us a little dip, boy. No! I'm so dumb! Damn you! And that one didn't give us a penny! Ah! <laughs> was there any more of those poops about? I, uh, oh, I can't believe that. I could go into my shop and hope for money, but I don't want to waste the item pools. Um, oh, this, is, this has been the greatest of tragedies. Right, we're getting nothing this floor. Let's go down to the next one. But that is... Truly, truly a devastating matter. We head down to the next floor and hope for something a little better, a little more prosperous. God damn. So we got a glass spin down, a glass D10. So we'll definitely take the uh, the glass spin down. Good, good. And hopefully this time we can actually utilize our shop a little more. I would hope. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's... Ugh, this is really good, but some Bond is so good. Familiar's take on our tier effects, which right now would be Seraphim, so... It depends. If we get any tier effects here that I like the idea of having on our Familiar's, then I'll definitely be up for it, but otherwise we don't need it, I suppose. Ooh, damn. Bad hit there by me. Let's try and find our shop real quick. Good, good. Yeah, I actually think having infestation is pretty clutch, to be honest. We seem to be getting a lot out of it. But yeah, I really love Sun Bond. I think it's a fantastic trinket. But also, I just got a spin down shard, which to me is pretty damn good. A lot of rooms here where we can't get the money, unfortunately. It's going to happen from time to time, though. Ooh, what the hell's going on with this guy? He's like locked at a certain angle on me that I can't shoot at. That definitely helps things. Right, check this out. We got Tech 2, which I like the idea of. We also got Little Fiend here. Um, ooh, I think we spin down that into this. We also get drops. Uh, glass dice every eight rooms. Room counter is reduced to three. Okay, let's, let's take that as well, shall we? More dice is going to be good, especially with our trinket. And yeah, the mulligan, while we don't have great fire rate right now, so it's not going to be insane, I think it is going to be pretty good. Um, now, this is a room that I don't technically have to do because we have a um, a kill switch in the middle of the room, but I'm thinking it's actually going to be better to do it just to gain money. 
We've already gained quite a lot. It's okay, just spawn the flies that kill them. See that? Beautiful. Up to 44 cent now. Right. Go back and check out item room real quick. See if there's anything we might want. Double pennies there. Lovely. We got Pet Rock. Pet Rock familiar that can be pushed around and block shots. Fills pits when pushed. Pet Rock sounds cute as a button, so I'm going to take it. So, basically, uh, it, it is very hard to push, but uh, it fills one pit. <laughs> I thought it was going to slide and fill them all in. No, it fits a single pit. I can see why it's zero to you now. Fair enough, little fella. Fair enough. He's doing his best. Oh, we got this guy. I really like this boss. Although, if I remember correctly, a fairly, fairly tough boss, especially without bombs to help us. I really like the little um, steering sound that they've got going on. Damn, this guy has a, like, a little death animation here that I was not ready for. I was like, why didn't you give me any pennies? Turns out the room is not over. Um, we got ourselves on pickup grants a random wisp. Whenever this wisp is destroyed, grants a new random wisp. I like that very much, sir. Um, go down. I'm a little worried about my current HP, but let's just keep going. Not going to go to the mines because I'm just a little worried, <laughs> to be honest. We got two glass D10s this time around. We do get a penny at the start of every floor as well. These guys have Cricket's body. We got an ethereal penny there. Unfortunately, couldn't actually make our way towards it. See, these guys are running scared. I love these rooms. But yeah, the, the pet rock, he's just going to be there to, to chill out, block some shots, do his own tang. I'll, uh, I'll let him chill. And we can push him over gaps sometimes to get to stuff if there's something to get. Really love the design on these enemies. They're really weird. Also, look at the little wisps in our eyes. That's so cool. I like this idea of getting a random wisp, like, and always having a wisp around... So these, when they hit the ground, are going to spawn little mushrooms. I just want to say, are these little mushrooms going to spawn pennies? Because if they are, we could farm these guys a little bit. It's kind of cool. Tech. Uh, yeah, we'll take tech. Good old quad shot tech X. We got what looks to be... The um, trinket spin down, which we might end up needing later on. Right now, it's not super useful. But as you can see, Mulligan's kind of popping off now. Mulligan's doing its thing. Enemies with segments like this are really good for money. Really, really good for money. Oh, we got you eating bombs. No, thank you. Let's just fight our boss, see what we end up getting. Just the stain here. Shouldn't be too hard at all. Hey, look, Penny, finally. Divorce papers, we really need fire rate increases, so that's good. We do not need that trinket for right now, so let's put that down. I love this room design. All the little symbols and stuff. Got up to a good amount of money here. Right, still haven't found the shop. Let's make a way. I love the fact that there's cash on the uh, on the Tech X band there. Has that always been that way? Or is that like a new modded thing? Or I don't know. Either way, I like it. I've not seen that before. I've not noticed it at least. Come on, Pet Rock. And then shop-wise, nothing amazing here. In fact, nothing very useful at all, unfortunately. I suppose what I could do at least is bomb this guy for some money. By the way, some of you that may not have watched the other series that I do, the Mega Modded, I don't fill my donation machine. I like to play with a little bit of difficulty, and I find that the donation machine is a bit of a crutch for me. So I was using it, like, way too often. So I just decided to 
make the game a little more difficult on myself and just stop using it because it was uh it was providing me a lot of benefit and yeah i, I don't know i just felt a bit cheaty sometimes I, even though i know it's a game intended uh thing but still for me it just didn't really sit right so i stopped using it i love those little fucking centipede dudes oh hello there sirs god damn imagine that with um the safety scissors holy that'd be insane Right, let's make our way. Come on, Pet Rock. You can do it. I think Pet Rock's one of those um, one of those familiars where they, they just made it for people to love. Like, it's useless. It's kind of like Sissy, where everyone just loves Sissy. She's not very good, but she just, everyone just loves Sissy. Okay, make sure we take that. Make our way down. And we are good to go. Onto the depths. This time we got a D4, which I don't think we want to use. We did get a glass D6 as well, which definitely one of the better ones we can get here. What? Oh, what the fuck is this? Ex excuse me? What in the... Sh no. <laughs> what in the fuck was that? That was scary as shit. <laughs> Holy, that was so scary. Right, let's do the Emperor here. It is a womb boss. What is this little thing that's dripping on me? I'm leaving creep about. Speed up? I'll take a speed up. I kind of need it. God damn, but yeah, that was that was some scary ass shit. <laughs> what on earth was that? Whoa, what's, what's going on here? Oh, this is cool. We gotta like good him into firing. This is really cool. What an interesting little room that is. I really like that. Little I love those little puzzle rooms with the little key guys. I think they're really, really interesting design wise. There's something a little different, a little unique. We always want that. School bag's decent, but not super useful right now. <laughs> Wasn't exactly sure what was happening there. The webs are really messing me up, I'll be honest. Glass D12 there. D12's out super useful for us right now. It could be in certain spaces, but... Ooh, that's actually pretty good for us right now. We don't have a space bar, so we'll take that. What's this over here? Is this a trinket? Key drops have an equal chance to become any of the key types. That sounds good, but I, like I said, I'm really into our, um, our little dice thing we got going on right now. The double dice at the start of the floor. I think that has such potential to be hugely useful. Yeah, and I like getting larynx. It's good. Ethereal penny here. I don't know what they're actually calling those in game, but I'm going to call them ethereal pennies. Got to be a little careful. I am leaving some money about here, but it's not a huge deal. We're on a good amount right now. Right, what we got? So we got um, lawn darts. Look affected chance to fire tears that inflict enemies with the hemorrhaging um, effect. Hemorrhaging enemies periodically take damage slow, um, and spew blood around themselves and leave a blood creep that damages enemies. So we'll take that. That sounds pretty good. Um, we'll take quince as well. And we'll keep moving on. Quince is always a good grab. Ooh, I like the color of the uh, laser after we got the hemorrhaging thing. Looks nice. Try and get as much extra coinage as we can here. Ooh, tinted rock over there. I see that. Oh, this is a bloody dud bomb. Didn't realize that I'd uh, picked up a dud bomb. I think those bombs have like equal part chance to either be a dud or like explode for extra damage. I think they can do either. 
If I remember correctly, that is. Good, good. Ooh, puzzle piece here. We'll take that. Your food will hurt. Yell! Oh my god, we almost killed him in one go there. And we hemorrhaged him. That's just some HP there. Genesis is an item I am very much willing to take right now. You may be wondering, Sir, why didn't you? I don't fully know. <laughs> I don't know why. Do you know what? Let's, uh, let's just give... Give Genesis and remove... Rosary. Because I did not mean to do that whatsoever. <laughs> I don't know what my brain did there. And I think Genesis is fun. And we'll glass d6 this into something else. Right, let's wait until probably the end of depths. Okay, we want to just take as many items as we can get at this point. Um, yeah, we'll go down. Yeah, we're going to wait until the end of depths before we use Genesis, I think. So yeah, at the end of this floor. Glass d8, glass d20. Good, good. Just to make sure we have a decent amount of items to reroll around with. Damn you. Sticky nickels. These rocks look really cool on this floor as well. We should use our uh, larynx more to clear rooms as well. Make a lot of rooms like this. Probably should have been a bit closer to that other guy first. Extra few pennies for us. Not really the best pickup to us to get really. Good, good. Got a nice amount out of that. I like it when these guys hemorrhage because it just kills everything that spawns. That's perfect. Right, yeah, we'll check out what the shop has to offer on this floor. And then we'll Genesis. Arcade could be pretty good. No new machines, unfortunately. I'm always in going into the arcades looking for the new machines. These jars are pretty cool. Sixty-eight cents already. That's good. Hello to you. I wonder if any of the writings on any of the rocks means anything, or if it is just random. I'm, I'm guessing it's just random, but that's a really cool effect. That pop your little head up, sir. There you go. We can destroy rocks with larynx as well if we'd like to. So, for example, in, I think it was this room, we could go, like, bah, try and get some cards. Hey, we got a, a reverse emperor, which I'll just pop. Very, very annoying boss, actually. I'm a little annoyed that this isn't being the one that we got. But we got there. We got breakfast, unfortunately, but I'll take it anyways. I want more items to uh, Genesis. Oh, what the hell is this big guy doing? I think I have seen one of those before, actually. Big boy. Wants quite a lot of coins. Glass D6 again. Yes, please. Oh, I don't know what that dude does. Spawns maggots by the looks of things. I love the way they flop out. So good. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a shame. I was really hoping to buy a bunch more items here. We've got AI item at least, which is nice. Beautiful. Quite a big extra bit of fire rate there. And then let's uh, pop on through here. Make sure we grab our Polaroid, whatever. Good stuff. Grab that dime. Uh, yeah, let's just grab the Polaroid for now. And then we'll use Genesis here and see what we end up getting. So Monster as long off the bat is my sort of style. Um, Piggy Bank is very safe for us. 
Godhead's pretty darn good. Um, Secretion's pretty decent. All of these are pretty trash, unfortunately. Um, I guess for the speedy mother kill, I might as well take Bible. Tiny Planet's terrible uh, with thingy, so we'll just take that. Um, we'll definitely take that. Um, we'll take that. I want my dice bag back. Tech 0.5. I need some tears up, really. Good, good. A tears up there. Take our apple. Bag of Bobby sounds interesting. Ooh, um, I think we'll take Eden's Blessing for the fire rate plus extra item. I'm all out of the tears up. I like that. Snow Globe. On use causes earthquakes that fling most grid. Ooh, let's try that. Then here. We don't really need damage as such, so I'm going to just gonna take fire rate. Definitely take fire rate again. Spawn a random object. Damage and range, we'll take that. Ooh, model rocket. Two times shot speed, multiplier, extra range, tiers, accelerate up from zero. Ooh, that sounds like it could be good with monstrous lung. Interesting grab there. That is pretty cool. Yes. That is that is decent. And let's yeah, let's get out of here. We'll take some piercing, why not? Let's go for it. I like our costume right now. We're looking good. We're looking really good. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the definitely some interesting stuff here. I also want to see how that works. Okay, that's pretty cool. We seem to be firing a hell of a lot of these shots here. I like our bag of bobbies here. Bobby looks a bit different as well. Oh my lord. Pretty hilarious. We also had a holy mantle there for some reason. I'm not exactly sure where we got that from. We definitely don't have holy mantle. Oh, we also have secretion that's doing some good stuff for us as well. I kind of forgot about secretion. So we're to be careful though. Our health still isn't great. Holy shit. Okay, so bag of bobbies... I thought it was a pair of room basis. It's most certainly not. It is spawning a lot and a lot of bobbies. Okay, we've got quite a lot of them this floor. Apparently they are perishable though, they can die. So we haven't seen one die yet, I don't think, but apparently it is, pl it is plausible. That's really cool, that jump around grid objects. They start off, like, incredibly slow. But they do, they do gain a significant amount of speed. So that's the sort of room that we want to be doing that on. This can really mess up some enemies pathing, which I, I, I very much like the idea of. Being able to jump grid objects around is kind of an interesting concept. I said it can do some kind of unintentional stuff with some of the grid, uh, some of the enemies pathing, and how runes are laid out. He's a rocket man. Oh wait, we're on one heart. I just realised. I've been playing like we're at full health for quite a while now, and we're most certainly not. We've got a quite, quite good protective radius here with all of our brother bobbies, you know. Holy. The damage this puts out in a single shot is pretty impressive. Harmonic conversion seems like it could be disastrously hilarious. Glass D6 is actually a good contender for... Uh, Hey, it's Seraphim again. We'll take him back. I think the colour of the Brother Bobbies depicts what health they're on. You can see this one at the front is like sort of a 
purpley blue. This one's a really light, uh, sort of a really normal blue. This one's a very light blue. And this one's like a pale sort of whitish color. So I don't know exactly which way it leans to how much health they have. But it, it clearly shows that there's different health levels there. Or at least that's what I think it does. Seems pretty clear to me. Yeah, whenever we use Monstrous Lung, it does does some stuff. Ooh, I think I would most certainly want that. Right. I did watch Slayer's video recently about how range and shot speed work with Monstrous Lung. We really actually don't want range. Range actually is bad for you with Monstrous Lung, surprisingly. I love, I love those things. I don't know if they're a threat to us at all, but I think they're cool. Oh, hello. You've come to join the fun, have you? I don't think there's going to be too many more, more opportunities for us to use anything to, like, use any of our money to buy things. But we'll see if they come up. Sadly, we don't have that item anymore that gives us a constant wisp. I was like, where's my other wisp? Don't have one, son. Beautiful. We did get a dime there. But like I said, money at this point with this character is like, sadly not very useful. So one problem with, with characters like Tainted Keeper and stuff, their gimmick's really cool, but it falls off in the late game because there's no shops. Nice. I think Godhead's really carrying because they changed Godhead in Repentance to make it have a fixed amount of damage rather than scaling with your damage, which means that these tiny little harmonic conversion shots, convergence, whatever you want to call it, generally don't do that much damage on hitting an enemy, but their Godhead aura does the exact same damage as the, sh as the Godhead aura of the shots that I fire out of my face, which is very, very nice for us. A whole new level of damage. And I like it. Another thing we're clearly seeing as well is these arrow things, whatever you want to call them, that we're shooting also apply Godhead to them. I didn't think that that would be the case, but it's nice to see that it is. Alright, missed out on a luck penny there, sadly. That would have been good to grab. Oh, damn. We crashed, unfortunately. Be right back. Okay, we are back, and she is big dead. Um, we could go hush, but I think we're just going to go straight for the cathedral here. Yeah, I don't know why. Sometimes stuff spawns, like, too much on the mother fight, and it can cause a crash, as you just saw. So this floor could definitely be a problematic one. we got to be ready. we got to be prepared. I have been told by a few people that there's... Ooh, was that a boss? What, what is this thing? Uh, I have been told by a few people there is more reason to explore on the Cathedral and Sheol than normal. So I will do that because people have told me to. Ooh, you are making quite the giggly giggles. You scare me. Ooh, was that like a little ghost behind me there? So yeah, um, I don't know exactly what they mean by that. If I was to make a guess, I'm going to guess there's some sort of like new trap room or something or new... new challenge room i don't know there's gonna be some sort of new room variety or something i think that only appears on cathedral uh, cathedral shell oh no wait is this it what's this this is definitely a mini boss room and this is definitely a new mini boss too bad we weren't so powerful and kind of wrecking him i would have liked to see his attacks he didn't spawn anything when we killed him I suppose it could just be like the other sins, though, where it's just got a chance to drop an item. But that might be it. I'll do some more exploring and make sure, but I, th I think that might be it, having a, a mini-boss to fight. But then again, I don't know. That that might have just been a random chance for a new mini-boss. I don't know if it particularly is something to do with this floor. Although I will, ha I will say that the theming of that mini-boss did look very on par with the cathedral. I would have definitely said that that was a cathedral-style boss. I don't want to rule anything out yet. Yes, they did say it's something that shows up on the cathedral all the time, so it's not like a chance to find it. It's definitely going to be there every time. 
Activates the D2, throwing it on the floor temporarily. Any pickups, enemies, and tears touching it will be rerolled. Interesting. Maybe I'll use that in the boss fight and see what happens. Well, I got hit there, and I accidentally left the room right as I got hit. I'm liking the new music, by the way. New music's been pretty on par today. I like it. So far, nothing this way. But one more room, though. Could be that. The music seems pretty good. Okay, no. It must be the mini boss fight. Oh, wait, no. We've got one more room. One more room. Yeah, it must be that mini boss. But that's pretty cool, though, if there's like a mini boss on this floor all the time now. I'm guessing maybe it has a dedicated drop. That's pretty interesting. And yeah, apparently there's something similar on Sheol as well, so we'll try and, uh... We'll try and find that too. So yeah, I want to try out what this D2 does. I'm curious. It rerolls tears that pass through it, I think it said. It kind of just bounces around. That was it? Okay. It didn't really do much. <laughs> Maybe having the actual item will be make it more clear what it does. But right now, I don't really know. Okay. Up we go to the to the uh, chest. What, what sort of key situation do we have right now? Ah, oh, we have plenty. We have plenty. Triple shot? I guess. <laughs> do you want some triple shot with your triple shot? We also got the mulligan back as well. This The music on this floor is pretty interesting. It's kind of like... Ye olde. Somewhat. Oh, God. Changed yourself up a bit. This is interesting. Oh my lord. Oh god, what the hell were they? Oh, Mulligan's back in action, doing well. There's apparently a few of these ghosty boys hiding around in, in little corners and crevices. I didn't see them. The bomber boy bomb there. Be careful. Like I said, the sins have been rebalanced and changed. We got a glass D4 there. I feel like I maybe owe it to the viewers to try and D4 the end of this run to see what happens. And so I will do exactly that. So we still got Hermetic Conversion. We got Revelations. We didn't get anything outstandingly good, I'll be honest. In fact, this run seems considerably worse. <laughs> We've got a few similar things in there. I'm a little concerned I'm about to die. The styling of the music on this floor is a bit peculiar. <laughs> I don't know what I think about it. Kind of fits the floor in a way. This is a really hard room right now. There you go. Finally got through it. So we, we kind of could use another D4, honestly. Whoa, is that a laser beam eye? What the hell? Definitely got to be careful of that. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, we have uh, Tooth and Nail, which means that we can periodically use our um, space bar without taking any damage. It's kind of nice. Do not know what these floor tiles are. They allow us to fall in by the looks of it. We, do, we have flight though, so it doesn't bother us. Doesn't concern us. We also have three dollar bill in here somewhere. We do, yeah. These are really cool, these eye traps. Mm. 
Very intriguing indeed. Yeah, if I can keep an eye on when uh, Tooth and Nail procs, I can utilize an explosion or two in the heat of it all. There's a frog somewhere doing some stuff. Damn it. Utilized it at the wrong time there. We are now very much in trouble. God damn, I threw it all away for this run. And this run is just okay. <laughs> Revelations is good, but obviously the charge up time leaves a lot to be desired. It's still, to be fair, even the damage leaves quite a lot to be desired. It's not doing a lot of damage. Oh god. Guys, we're all using different items. Secret room? Why not? I love that secret room finding noise. Play into this guy, why not? Give this guy a little bit to play with. Did he give me a stat up there? And a stat down there? He gave me fire it though, I like fire it. He took it away again. No, it, mu it must be $3 bill that's doing that. <laughs> Moonstone. Chance for an extra rune or soul stone drop from opening a chest, blowing up tinted rocks, and destroying slot machines. Guaranteed rune or soul to appear in planetariums, and the abandoned planetarium has a unique interaction with a certain item. It's not going to be super useful for us now, but I'll take it. Whoa. That is a lot and a lot and a lot of spiders to uh, drop on me there, sir. These guys kind of shrink as you hit them. That's kind of cool. And you guys drop from the ceiling like you're a god's gift. Take care of this room. Tooth and Nail is unfortunately not really lining up very well with us being able to use it for damage. I've been trying to keep an eye on it, but... There you go. Got, got one that time. It's pretty fun when you can do stuff like that. Damn it. I jumped the gun. Alright, boss time. Okay, now I've been hit, so probably going to die in here. There was a penny there that I could have gotten. We managed to get that one, good. Oh, bit of a tricky fight here, but we managed to get through it. I hope you guys did enjoy this one, another fun Fiendfolio run, and in the next one we'll check out China. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.